Back in town, I start the new day in a full bore flop sweat. I am freaking hot. I could go for a frosty, freezy, something icy, something cold. I need to refrigerate my brain and quick. Hmm, Hanson Snowblizz sounds promising. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how you doing? I need something to air condition my brain. I'm hot. You want a snowball to cool y'all? Yeah, that's I'll good. I'll one right quick. Suddenly, a block of ice is pulled out and loaded like a cannonball into a heavy steel chamber. And with a flip of a switch, ice shoots out of what looks like antique ductwork. Do they have a permit for this thing? There's ice flying everywhere. Even the old woman's hair. This is really like, um, you know, NASA recovered this in uh, floating in outer space. It's unearthly. It's lighter than air. The frosty ice cup is drenched in the homemade syrup. I order pink lemonade. Yeah, I make those. I make all the flavors myself. I don't give customers nothing I don't eat myself. For the last step, the snowball is topped off with sweetened condensed milk. Mmm, this is really good. I've never had anything like it. It's not sorbet. It's not granita. It's not Italian ice. It's not ice cream. Something, something else going on here. What's their secret? Maybe NASA is involved, or is it the machine? I just spent five thousand dollars for for the latest state-of-the-art sorbet machine from Switzerland, and this is a lot better. Maybe it's the 63 years the Hansons have been in business together. When we first started out to open the shop, we were selling like that in 39 for two cents in scoops. Whatever their secret, the Hansons have made me feel welcome. So my little girl, what flavor are you eating? Oh, 